Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey Podcast. It's your boy, Q Lewis, man, holding it down live from the 48205. Got my man Bo in the building. I say. We uh we back for uh, episode four, right? We had four this season. I think already. so, yeah. I think so, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Something three or four. Look, <laughs> like I, I can't remember. We had so many seasons. I'm gonna tell you this though. What I am excited about, um, Facebook is good for like one or two things. The one thing is it does remind you of memories. So I had a memory that popped up, and one year ago today. Uh, is when I first uh, announced that we were going to do this show. Oh, so sweet. it's been a year uh, since the development of the Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey podcast. So uh, thanks so. to everybody who's been listening and showing us support this whole time. Hopefully you guys have learned something, or if not, at least been entertained. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We'll so, take either. Right, we'll take either one. Um, don't forget, also, if you are watching on YouTube right now, that you hit that subscribe button so that you get a notification every time we go live. And uh, we go get into some things, man. We got a uh, we got something brand new that I've never heard of. Well, it's not brand new, but it's brand new to me. That's what I mean by and that. And me, <laughs> and it's, it's local. It's from the Michigan area. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll let uh, let me ask you because I didn't ask you when you uh, when you first showed it to me. Um, what made you even select it? Like you just kind of it kind of ran across. Like I, yeah, what happened? Because um, usually there's a story behind. No, it. I mean we really ain't no story behind it. I I, <laughs> I literally literally. Uh, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I literally, uh, literally heard about this probably about a week ago. Okay. And, uh, I was, you know, just like random conversation. You're like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, check that out, blah, blah, blah. Right. Like, and just forget what that person even said, really, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And uh, I walked into the to the store today mm-hmm. and walked by, and I was like, and I looked and looked again. I was like, oh, that's what old boy was talking about. Yeah. Let's go ahead and try this. All right. So, so yeah. yeah. We're checking out so Iron Fish yeah. uh, today, man. It's a uh, bourbon, so it is uh, 86 proof, I think it is. 86 right? proof, yeah. Yeah, 86 yeah. proof. Um, so uh, it's not it's not like a hundred proof or anything, but we have heard that it's uh, it's pretty strong. I heard it's pretty strong. So we're gonna check that out. Matter of fact, uh, something we've been doing lately these last few episodes is uh, cracking right into it. So let's go ahead and get that popping. You know what? We should have opened this before. Oh, it's not it's not open. It's not open. It's not open. <laughs> All right. So if I, if I struggle with this, y'all be y'all can't be laughing at. Oh, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. It was easy. Okay, yeah. it was an easy one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you. I'm glad it wasn't on Buchanan. Oh man, that Buchanan. I should have left that in there. Right? Yeah, I'm telling you. That shit was terrible. Dog. I was really trying hard. Um, I do want to say this, though, before we even uh, pour. I did see on the uh, label. We go pour. Ahead. Yeah, you can pour. Um, I did see on the label that it said it was uh, uh, in rum cast, right? Yeah. So I already think, because Ooh. of the Caribbean rum cast, I already think that's going to have a little sweetness to it. I love me some Caribbean rum. Tell you and that, though. Hopefully I'm right because if if anybody knows me, uh, you know I have a, a lighter palate <laughs> and I do enjoy uh, soft, <laughs> soft with the tea, the whole tea in there. Huh? Um, so yeah, we're gonna indulge in that. So I'm thinking that it's gonna. Yep, I smell it already. It's definitely sweet somewhere. I smell that Caribbean rum. Yeah, it's it like a, it's like it. a more mellow version. You know, if you ever had like a, a Captain Morgan's, you yeah. know, and you. And you open it, and you immediately you know, like, no, it's like this Captain Morgan, right? That spice, you know, that spice, spice, yeah. spice yeah. But it ain't like that pungent, I guess, man. It's just yeah. real mellow. He said pungent, pungent. Yeah, I did say pungent. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Hey man, I, I dropped the seventy-five dollar word from time to time. For sure. Hmm. Let me see. I gotta try that again. Initially, it did taste sweet, but not all the way through. You don't think so? I think it's sweet all the way through. I can definitely taste the rum cast. It's got some yeah. hints of rum for sure. It is. Yeah, it, it feels like real uh, tropical. <laughs> Islandy. I, w- I wouldn't quite say it's like a. I wouldn't say you know it's like you know Caribbean rum or something like that, but I, I can definitely taste some of the bourbon. Mm-hmm. But I think maybe it's the bourbon at the end, and that's why I say I don't think it's sweet all the way through. Uh, see, I mean, but, but bourbon itself is a little sweeter too, though, yeah. right? Not like, not like Caribbean rum, not, so yeah, much. you know, uh, yeah, dark, Cari- dark Caribbean rum, I should say. Like okay. the clear stuff is yeah. a little different. But uh, yeah, I, I can def- definitely taste like. See, to me, it kind of hits me in the beginning, you know. Yeah. Um, like just immediately, little, just I just can taste fruit. that. Yeah, <laughs> immediately, I can get that 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 hint of rum there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Definitely. It's it's actually it's actually pretty good though. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, only because like 
Um, it's it's sweet. See, I, I I guess I have to explain this. Like, I do have a softer palate. Not I don't think it's strong though. With tea. It's not strong at all. I don't think it's strong. But it it has a little, like it has a little bit of a bite to it. A little bit. Yeah. I will tell you this though, and and I, I'm not gonna try it today on the show, but I do feel like if you add ice to it, you probably go get drunk. Come on, it's, yeah, it's gonna yeah, taste yeah. like flat. It's gonna taste like Kool Aid. Yeah, yeah no, it, not it, cool. It ain't sweet like that. It's not sweet like that. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, you know, it would Kool-Aid, taste like a Kool Aid with, without a lot of sugar. Almost like a like a like a watered down Coca Cola or something like that. You know yeah, what there you go. Yeah, yeah. or, or Kool Aid with not enough sugar. In it. No, no, I don't think. <laughs> but see, I think that's a different type of sweet. I think that's like think more so? of a yeah. I don't think this is like candy sweet. A candy sweet. Yeah, yeah right. this okay. is more like of a chocolatey, not chocolate, but like. You know, like a caramel or something mm-hmm. type sweet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not like a candy Man, sweet. Speaking of caramel, dog, they had some delicious caramels at the uh, Detroit Distillery last <laughs> night. They had some delicious caramels. Dog, delectable. <laughs> Bro, like I wish I had a whole bag of this. They wasn't punching, dude. Huh? No, they wasn't punching. <laughs> delectable. <laughs> delectable. Damn, you, you couldn't bring a nigga back one? No, I tried. I only got two, and I ate both of them. Damn. They For was real? great. Yeah, my bad. Damn, nigga. No, I ain't going to hold you up, though. This is what happened. Okay. I took two, and... So they were sitting out, so I took two, and it was right next to, like, you know, a bunch of, like, little gift boxes. Okay. So I was thinking that it I was I ain't get no gift box either? Wait, I'm about to tell you. Damn. I was thinking, I waited, I, I was thinking it was some in the gift box, mm-hmm. but it wasn't, though. So I'm like, damn, what? it was like some some other shit in there, right? Okay. So I'm like, but I was still, I was a little disappointed about like that. So it was some other shit. So what, what other shit it was, was in like the gift box? Some, uh, it, was, it was some weird mix of shit, like some, some bread and, like, some, some kind of... Like pate or some shit, right? <laughs> like it really was, though. like for real. And I was gonna get it though, because even though I didn't, it wasn't no caramels in it. Yeah, you had your you had your pinky up like this, did? No, actually, I seen Big C. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Angry Principal had his, and he opened it, so I seen what it was. So I'm like, damn, that ain't the caramel, but it's cool. Like I still got it. So I'm gonna bring it to the crib. I went to the bathroom, and motherfuckers came through and cleaned up and threw my shit away. So it was gone. Damn. So yeah, I didn't even get that, but I did have caramels, delectable. Caramels. I don't know if they sell that shit, but if they sell that shit, how I'm big was they? But it was like a little, damn it, like a little tizzy roll. Yeah. Like it was little. Okay. But I'm talking about some of the best caramel I ever had in life. Though. I just want y'all to know that it's like salted caramel or something. Mm. <sighs> okay. All right. Anyway, I'm sorry. So let's uh, get back taking to deep breaths or whatnot. No, I had to. No, that, shit, that shit was great, nigga. Uh, <laughs> my mind, I got all I cared. To. <laughs> back to the back to the uh, the rum slash bourbon. <laughs> nah, for real. Um, back back to the bourbon now. So um, it's called Ironfish, uh, but it was uh, named after uh, the farm, right? There was originally a farm in Michigan, Thompsonville, um, and we had to actually, even though we're from Michigan, we had to Google where Thompsonville was because I had never heard of it. Uh, but so on this farm, this was the first distillery. Uh, it's just south of Traverse City. Oh know, yeah, yeah. If you uh, 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 shout out to Traverse City, Wisconsin. I'm gonna do the Michigan thing. So like up right. there. <laughs> Up yeah. around there, almost off the peaky, yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost off the peaky into the water. Yep. But um, yeah. So they were uh, so that I forgot you you had read this earlier, but it was the uh the first, it's the first one on a farm or just the first one in that area, uh, first distillery. Yeah I, yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember. remember. I know we were talking about it though, but so that's the that's where the the actual name Iron Fish came from because they were uh, on that farm they were raising uh steel. Was it was a steelhead trout they, or steel? They wasn't raising it. it oh, just, they weren't. They just caught steelhead trout out in the river. Oh, in the river. Yeah, right. Okay, I yeah. got you. All right. And now, now the uh, the crazy thing about that. Remember, you said the oh, no, it was the the first. Yeah, the first farm dedicated. Yeah, to the farm. Distilling. Yes, the farm <laughs> was dedicated. That's what it is. Yeah, so they yeah, were yeah. some drunk farmers. So some drunk ass. Yeah, <laughs> drunk ass drunk farmers. Ass, yeah. So shout out to the drunk ass farmers. That's what's up, baby. Um. <laughs> But just thinking about that though, like looking at because because that's an eye mix. Cause I did see it on the front where it said it was a farm. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think like most distilleries not on a farm. Like I, at least not probably bootleggers, but they I mean like regular distilleries and grow their own ingredients or whatnot. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Now we got a. I was gonna try to segue all you know, <laughs> all cool, but I, I can't do it anymore because I forgot how I said I was gonna do it. Um, so we got some. You, they set the conditions. They had the, the perfect, you know, oh, right. like That's what environmental was. conditions for tr- for, trout for trout to thrive. Exactly. You know, and get be healthy. Exactly. You know what I mean? Live a good life. So what happens when that climate changes? They 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 don't thrive. They don't thrive. And they're not healthy. <laughs> exactly. They don't live a good life. Exactly. And that's what we're talking about today. Mm. Climate. We're talking about climate change, climate shift, uh, whatever you want to call it. 
and uh, its effects on health, and not only health, but like our health. So uh, we talk about, and not only our health, but how I mean, everybody's health. Yeah, health but how it disproportionately affects for poor folks. Yeah, so black, sure. folks, black people. Right. <laughs> yeah, just call it what it is. <laughs> it does. Um, and we actually saw an interesting uh, video too, not too long ago, about this. And uh, to be quite honest, I never really took this, uh, you know, this this yeah. topic. I ain't gonna say seriously, but I guess I never put that much thought into it. It don't seem like something that, like you know, most niggas be talking about. <laughs> right, hey, Sim- you, you simple as that. Hey, you see that latest uh, uh, video on climate change, though. Right. You know what like, I mean? Like, so, what do you Damn. think about the? Uh, yeah. What do you think right. about the ozone, bro? What do you think about the ecosystem? Up? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's true. Erosion, yeah. erosion, like a motherfucker. Huh? But these are things actually. <laughs> it's funny though, like that we laughing at at that, but it, these are things that actually are. Um, things that we need to be taking notice of, yeah. and something that she mentioned, something that the doctor mentioned in the video, I think is uh, it kind of all goes into you know gentrification. What I mean by that is there's places, basically just to put it like this, in America, there are places that are healthier because of the climate than than other places. Obviously, like swamp land is probably bad for people with. Uh, you know, with sinus issues or, or breathing issues. But then you got other places like so, somewhere in like... Yeah, sw- Swap land would be bad for people without that shit too. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Just trying to, <laughs> trying to get an idea. But it's places where uh, that are probably healthier than others. And because of gentrification, um, you kind of... It, it is a, a way that as a... I guess... Uh, what's the word I want to use? I, I, I guess we've been saying poor people. But uh, black people who kind of get pushed out or redlined out of certain areas, this can also, you know, add to like your health issues. Because like if I'm in a place like let's say uh, let's use Detroit just for an example, um, Detroit, you know, Michigan period is just surrounded by like I think the, the largest freshwater like systems like as far as people being inhabitants um, in America. So this is th- these are good resources. So what happens when like people really f- figure out the health resources and force other people out like this can really happen and unfortunately black people who just happen to be a, a lot of the poor percentage um kind of get nicked in in that in that equation and that just means that when the climate when the climate changes which it is changing obviously people know that because the ice caps are melting and everything else so you know that at some point your wealth is going to determine where you're able to actually reside and that's going to be, you know, continue health issues. You go back to the story she told, right? Mm-hmm. So you had those uh, real estate developers who right. were forward thinking enough, you know, and had all these different studies done. Well, they knew this one particular area of Florida and, and yeah, down in southern Florida mm-hmm. where it was it wouldn't flood. 10 feet higher, you know, uh, than the, the 10 feet higher than in everything else around it as far as sea level goes. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah, it wouldn't flood. Mm-hmm. And so forward thinking enough to say, hey. This is where we got to develop, you know what I mean? Exactly. Because 20 years from now, everything else around here might be <laughs> fucking water, you know what I mean? <laughs> it might right? flood, right. So we need to get these niggas out right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, so, and that's what they did. So she exactly. said she talked to a woman that was evicted from her apartment, right? And they knocked that shit down and came through with the luxury condos yeah. and all this other shit. Yeah. Which is like, and this is, this is a tough thing about gentrification because people like who try to argue it. So, so just looking at that story. So they came in. Knock down a little shit, which was probably, I'm guessing, I'm assuming if it was in a poorer part of town, it was probably like kind of dilapidated or just kind of like not not up to date. So they put in like some high rise, like uh, you know, living. And I think some people think, well, you know, if the if the neighborhood is declining, then why not come through and and, and put in new stuff? But what happens then is that the people who live there can't afford to live yeah, there. No, no, yeah, don't no, no, make me ever think about those people. No, like, that's, ooh, that's the part. Give me this Starbucks and this. And this motherfucker, uh, what's the shit? Tropical Smoothie the Cafe. Tro- and shit, yeah. Smoothie. But meanwhile, you hey, know. Shout out to Tropical Smoothie. I that shit like is good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but meanwhile, folks that live there, like, what are they going to What are you going to do with these people exactly. now? Exactly. Yeah. Come on. You're just kicking them out and not giving them. Like, you putting. It's a difference when they you, have, you know, you know, they, my, you know what they say, though? Mm-hmm. They have just as much as opportunity as anybody else to no. move into one of those. No, no they do not have not just as much opportunity. Not at all. Get, get out of here with that BS. <laughs> <laughs> that's Come exactly on, what it is, though, and I mean, just that whole thing, like economics and and healthcare, 
um, always go in together. So now we add in this third thing of climate shift or climate change. And I think this is just, um, this is another reason why conversations like this need to be had because again, until, and we kind of just stumbled across this, uh, you know, this conversation and, you know, I've been here for a little while, you know what I'm saying? For, you know, uh, 41 years. <laughs> so I've been here for a little while and I've never had a conversation, uh, like a serious conversation. Check this out. About though. climate change. This is popped in my head, man. Think about what it could do for your mental too, though, right? For sure. I'm thinking about, hey. That was one of the parts of heat wave. Like, right, right. I can right. remember <laughs> all the words that meant. Hey, shout out to the homie Big Win. Mm-hmm. But when we was down in, in Georgia for, for Win Wedding and we was mm-hmm. on the farm, Mm-hmm. Bro, we was all chill, Remember? relaxed, just oh. kicked back, chilling like nothing. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it was like for real on a farm, like out in the middle of nowhere, a y'all. Farm. You know what I mean? A legitimate farm with horses and and, and little little donkeys and geese do- and, do- and, and goats and stuff, right? Do- you know what I mean? the yeah, donkey. <laughs> the donkey. Right. For real though, and like everybody, like you talking. I don't know. I might be the most aggressive out of the crew. I don't know, maybe, but like everybody was <laughs> cool. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> Everybody was just like calm, chill, relax, yeah. man. You know, so think about what that do for your mental. For real, when you in all this hustle and bustle and all this shit going on, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. yeah, that's definitely a thing. All right, so yeah, so and that's like this whole mental health aspect of it, though, is something that I thought about when I was in Harlem too, because like it really is true. Like the the hustle and bustle of inner city shit is a uh, is hell on your mentals, though. Like when you have to. I think it's, it's the main thing that black people go through, period. Like, dog, when you have to worry about surviving, then it's a, it fucks with your mind. Like, it's a mental thing. So, like, if you every day is the hustle and bustle, I got to I gotta do this to survive, then that, that changes your whole mental outlook. And stress, like, people, I, I don't think people stress say this all the time. Stress has an effect on your health, for real. Bro, really. people say it all the time, and I don't think they believe that shit, bro. Like, Man. stress kill people, like, yeah, for real. Like, for you real. fucking die. So, you looking at when, when the climate changes... Um, for instance, like, just like looking at that, like when I was in Harlem, um, like I was, <laughs> I was broke. So I had to, I had to stay at the, at the Harlem YMCA. Right. So uh, shout out to the Harlem YMCA. But um, I was there for, you know, the three, for the three months I was there for my internship and it was in the summer and it was hot as fuck. <laughs> and like my, my uh, air conditioner really, my air conditioner worked a little bit, but like the way it was sitting in the window, like the water would leak everywhere. Mm-hmm. So I already had roach problems and shit in my little room. <laughs> so like the more moisture come in there, it's like more little insects and all kind of shit. <laughs> so I couldn't have it on all the time. So I just think that shit was so frustrating. Like, and after a while, you just think like I was there for a three month internship. It's some people who living like that mm-hmm. every day. Every day. Bro, let's go kid. And then on top of that. All the moisture and shit. Let's just look at it at this being like a house. And they wonder why niggas is getting high and like shit like that <laughs> right. every year, right? Trying to avoid this shit. Come on, huh? So it's like all of that moisture and everything that's coming in also is going to start creating, uh, you know, breathing problems. Mm-hmm. And then and then you already poor, so you probably ain't got adequate health care. So like this is all the trickle down <clears throat> effect of climate, you know, climate change. It's funny because like, again... Until we looked at that video, I had never had a serious conversation about climate change. And you most likely got a, got an hourly job, right? So you ain't Man. got nobody telling you about FMLA and shit like that. So Man. then you're missing out on work. You know, right. you're missing out on money and stuff. And then we don't have a certain amount of hours in. Like, that starts to affect your benefits and shit, right? Bro, do not this is get a vicious me started. Cycle, bro. Do not get me started on FMLA, dog. <laughs> so real quick, oh, I got to say this shit. Oh, shit. I yeah, have sir. to say this shit, dog, real sure. quick. Sure. Um, and real quick, if y'all just now... Um, checking in, we do have uh, Angry Man from the world famous E Block Radio Show. Yes, sir. Yeah. In the studio right now, man, off camera like he used to be. But y'all, y'all know who he is now, so it don't matter. There you go. But uh, yeah, so real quick, though, you know, quick story. FMLA. This is why I, I fucking hate corporate America. So um, I ended up being diagnosed with uh, sleep apnea. Uh, long story short, I had a leg ulcer, wouldn't close up. I had uh, I had surgery on. I mean, not surgery, but like they had to physically like scrape and, and treat the wound for like weeks on end. I had a, a, a IV in my arm where I had to shoot up, uh, what you call that, uh, the shit for infections. Uh, uh, damn, the shit you... Antibiotics? Yes, antibiotics. Yeah. Thank you, dog. Angry man in the clutch. In the clutch. Uh, in the clutch, because <laughs> we was both brain farting. Like what? Um, so like I got the core literally hanging out because I got to shoot in it like, mm-hmm. you know, every four hours. I'm going to work every day. My management team never in a fucking life took the opportunity to tell me like, bro, 
you should take advantage of your FMLA because like you should not be in here taking care of all these medical needs. We need these numbers. Clock. We need these numbers. Bro, and that's why to this day I'm just like, bro, I don't give a fuck about corporate America <laughs> because they don't give a fuck about you. At all. all. Right, this was a side note. I'm sorry. I just had to, because we was talking about FMLA. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, my back. <laughs> we back. I'm back. I'm back. But yeah, so that the hustle and bustle, that, that climate, that climate shift, like the heat, like <laughs> my, this is funny. My grandma used to say that all the time. That heat make niggas angry. I know she was just saying that, but that's real shit. She wasn't just saying that, though. <laughs> like, the way she said it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's always going to be some embellishment and shit, yeah. but like, some of that's coming from experience, too, though, right? Definitely, yeah, yeah, for sure. Angry Man, you got a, uh, like, I know you, uh, you're a guest to the show today and shit, but uh, what'd you think about that, dog? Like, with, with climate shifts, like, like, for instance, like here, we've had some, uh, and you know what I think? I think here it, it works even more so, though, right? Because um, here there's been more. It's starting to be. It's starting to be warmer. Like obviously, as the climate change, like the winters haven't been the same. And when you live in the city of Detroit, like I have to be honest with you, like we kind of like it. I hate it when it's cold and it's snowing, but I kind of like it at the same time because it kind of <laughs> it keep people out of trouble. Does it seem like? <laughs> So I'm, I'm really starting to believe like the heat really made people act crazy, though. So anyway, that's that's just besides the point. But what do you think about that shit, though? You think that the do you? Well, first of all, let me just ask you this: Do you believe that the climate change really does have an effect on like on health, especially ours? Yeah. Well, I mean, but in general. Yeah, because uh, <clears throat> lived a lot of places, been in a lot of places, and uh, the, the, I tell people all the time: the Midwest will train you for anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. climate-wise, the Midwest will prepare you for everything. Mm -hmm. Especially Michigan, it's one of the few states that get all four seasons. <laughs> right, you yeah, in, in one week. You know, <laughs> <that's what I'm laughs> you make it in one week, right? For sure. You know, I'm, I've lived in different parts of the Midwest that, you know, made me think different. You know, when I came back home, everybody was like, "Man, it's freezing out here." No, I'm, I'm straight. I, I didn't get trained to it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. It, so first of all, in case y'all didn't know, Angry Man did once live in Wisconsin, which we already know. And it's not the same thing as here. Like it's not. No, it's right. It's like it's right. You lived in Wisconsin too. Not as long as he yeah, is Angry he Man, did, but, but yeah, yeah no, it's sure. not the same thing. Definitely not the same. You know what's worse? Iowa's worse. Yes. It, oh yeah, you tell me about the ice storms. Iowa is, is, is ten times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think probably because it's just like it's nothing out there for cornfield. <laughs> That's the so, same thing with Wisconsin. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. nothing to stop it. When that hawk yeah. comes through, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> when that hawk comes coming through like the hawk eyes. Hey. Like, just shout out to Big Ten starting today. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Rutgers beat Michigan State. Oh, did they? Yeah. yeah. Michigan right. State had seven turnovers. Seven. Oh, that's why you said they was looking sloppy. I didn't even yeah. see it, though. Yeah. yeah. But my hopefully, bad. My bad. Hopefully, Michigan don't look that bad. It was pretty bad. Yeah. But, but yeah, I mean, because you got to like, piggyback off what your uh, grandma said. Think about places like um, California. Mm -hmm. That's just out of fucking control. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Think about places like Florida. Florida man. Florida, Florida man. Florida man. <laughs> you know, certain parts of Texas yeah. are out of fucking control. Yeah. Port Arthur. And you know what I'm mean? saying? You right. got, you got places down there, like you said, man. I mean, it's just fucking heat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. you know I mean, and they got all year round to deal with this. You know, we get yeah. a break. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got something to call snow New Orleans. Right. Yeah. You know, I don't know why. I mean, I guess when because when it get hot here, I guess we get all our shit out the way in, in a matter of months. <laughs> right, because we've been cooped up for the months of winter. So yeah, but I and it, like the the crazy thing about it, I think we mentioned this, uh, you know, off camera um, before we got started. Though, is that you know this was a platform of uh, uh, damn, why well, I keep want to say Joe Biden, uh, Al Gore, and like they they kind of laughed Al Gore off the stage. Like, what is you talking about? This shit is not that important. But I think that the reason, or not the reason, but I think the fact that they always blow it off lets you know how important it is. Because like, the government has, has a, a grand way of doing that, disregarding shit that is of the utmost importance. So I do feel like this shit is way more important than we than we ever give acknowledge for. And I think this is like... This is gonna be. A, this is a great conversation to have. The COVID I, I'm just shit. I'm mad that I never thought about. It. Yeah, the COVID shit. Yeah, in March. Like, oh, this shit gonna be gone by Easter. Right. Y'all gonna be having y'all barbecues and everything. No, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they swore. <dude. laughs> so, and that's a, that's another thing about the about the COVID thing though is, um, obviously they say this is is kind of based off of, or they say that a higher temperature would uh, somewhat get rid of it. 
So this is what I don't understand. Um, I think that the numbers did dip down in the summer, I guess. Like, I'm not sure. But some of those places were hot year-round, so I don't know how you explain that. But whatever. Um, but now, we're getting back into the fall and winter time. But it's more, it's more shit opening yeah. up now than it was over the summer. Mm -hmm. That don't make sense. So either either you lying about the temperature or you or you trying to get everybody to fucking die again. You know or what I'm saying? Or or you losing money. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously I know it's losing yeah, money. Yeah, you losing money, so sure. it's just like I don't give a fuck you dying or whatever. <laughs> get this money. We got to get this profit margin back up. <laughs> right. Yeah, get this money. Yeah. yeah. It, it makes perfect good sense to me if you think about it, because uh -huh. in the summertime you're gonna buy medication. You're gonna try to get health care. You're gonna try yeah. to get it. Yeah. You know, versus the winter time, you're in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you ain't around a lot of people no way. It's kinda yeah. like, in the wintertime we self quarantine without even knowing we doing it. True. Yeah. True. You know what I'm saying? So, I hadn't looked at it that way. Yeah, so now they gotta fit it's just like everything else. They gotta like car dealerships. We gotta figure out how to way to get them back to us. Yeah. <laughs> so sure. so you make a car that can't nobody fix but the dealership. Dog. <laughs> and that's precisely the and, and again, uh to one of my uh corporate jobs and shit. Uh, shout not a shout out to General Motors, but just saying. Uh, while working there, I do understand that that is completely the idea. The idea is is no longer to get people back into the car dealerships to buy cars, but it's to get to the service lane mm -hmm. at the dealership. <laughs> not like it really is. Like that's same thing with marijuana. Yeah, we want to kill all the street crime and street drugs. Let's just put it over here so we can mine it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Now, now you don't have to go on the motherfucking corner to buy weed. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, now your punishment is going to be harsh if you do get caught buying weed on the corner. Yeah. Motherfucker, we gave you a place to go buy. Go right, <laughs> right, go buy that shit <laughs> right. legally. Yeah, but back to the COVID. This is like to me, it makes sense. You know, now they want to, like I said, because it survives in the winter. And then, like I said, we self quarantine ourselves. Yeah. In the winter. We already stay at home. I mean, they open up crazy. Like, they opening up the theater, though. Like, they trying to bro, get it's about to be winter, it. but it's winter time. They trying to do it. Trying to get you back out in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, it's winter time. You about to be in the theater with 50 motherfuckers, though, and, and the COVID numbers going up. That don't make no sense to me. Like, I figure you should have had opened the theaters in the summer then, like, before you open the shit in the winter. But it, it probably don't take as a lot of medication and insurance and health care in the summer because yeah. the climate kills it. Right, right. I you get what I'm saying. Feel, now, yeah. now, versus, how do we get these people back outside we to, to make their ass sick? Yeah, we gonna open it up, <laughs> like you said. It got it's a numbers game. Yeah, we gotta Damn. open the shit back up to get them out in order yeah. for them to come get pay for this health care or for them to pay for this medication. We yeah. already took a hit in the summertime, right? Because you know uh, the temperature pretty, the nature pretty much took care. Of. Yeah. Now you know, blame on Mother yeah. Nature now. <laughs> but a lot of us self quarantine ourselves anyway. anyway yeah, yeah. You know cases up, cases going up. And when they Damn. fucked around and made the fire stick. You fucked it up for the theaters, nigga. We ain't right. going no goddamn where, no way now. <laughs> right, exactly. That's it. Just, I mean, when you look at that, dog, like the way it really is, it's like, I mean, it really is about the money, though. See, and I ain't want to get political, but that's the shit that make you want to come back, right? Uh -huh. And really ask that question: Who really calling on calling all these shots? Right. Is it this elite group of you know white, rich, you know whoever or whatever, or yeah. these politicians or whatever? Because those conspiracy theories, man, it fuels all of that shit, right? It makes right. you really wonder, like, was this shit released on purpose? You know, I me, mean? right. you know, because just like just like the whole the whole pr the prison in infrastructure, right? You got to have like motherfuckers are privatizing prisons right for sure. so you got to have people that are committing crimes and getting evicted of shit <laughs> for yeah. these private these private prisons to make, order, money. Order to make money right so you got these these, these pharmaceutical companies they got to make money yeah. and most of the time they make a lot of fucking money right Hell yeah. so you got to have sick motherfuckers money. to be buying their medicines and shit to be true not curing but treating, treating. Yeah, what yeah. you have you know oh, yeah. the money is definitely in the treatment yeah no doubt yeah, Definitely don't want to cure the shit. It's all an inside job. You know, the insurance company got their own doctors there. That's why they only deal with certain doctors. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, they only deal with certain, like, this big insurance company only going to deal with the VA. Yeah. You know, because they going to get a cut off the top of you sending them to us and us telling them mm -hmm. what they need to take. Yeah. And somebody oh, yeah. that got VA insurance, like, and, and that, that's that's the options. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But and, and that's exactly. It's gonna go exactly. 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 That's tell, fucking crazy. Exactly. Tell them they need six seventy five pills when you only probably need fourteen. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, so when you when you look at that shit like that, then that kind of puts you into a mind space where yeah. they not ever they not ever go be honest with us about climate control. Because you're making decisions. Am I gonna buy food this week, or am I gonna buy my pills this week? Right. Mm -hmm. What kind of decision is that? So they never, they never gonna be honest with you about that because they know that climate change is gonna make at some point it's gonna make everybody unhealthier. 
So, but if they give you the warning, then you like you might try to get ahead of the curve. So like, it's no benefit. It's no benefit for them to ever warn you about that or even work on that. So right. like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like if we having conversations about it, it's like it's falling on deaf ears. They don't give a shit because like they don't ever want you to really get ahead of the the, the problem. But every four years, I want you to vote for me, okay? <laughs> right. Okay? Exactly. Is it okay? Vote for me. Yeah, not such a for me. <laughs> right. No, that's what's crazy. And and uh, all right. So look. Or in some cases, two years, but whatever. So look, I've been uh, I've been watching the boys and shit, and uh, really some some real uh, low key political satire in there. <laughs> for real. And long story short, if you haven't seen it, like I'm not gonna kill it or nothing, but I will say this. Um, overall, the niggas basically was trying to create. Some uh some some super villains basically, so that they could have somebody to go fight and encourage the Congress to allow them to fight with the army and shit. So that, so basically, so I can make money for this corporation, and that's the reality of politics anyway. It's to build up this uh super villain, which, yeah. which right now yeah. the super villain is COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To 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 allow them to introduce whatever resource they say is go like save the world you know what i'm saying and that's the pharmaceutical company so we get all the way back to the pharmaceutical shit where at the end of the day they the ones making the money and they got everybody by the nuts because they actually dictate everything like if if we could if we could create that's why everybody in the world was trying to hurry up and fight over who was going to be the first with this vaccine because they know that they gonna have a stronghold on everything the political system uh people's beliefs every fucking thing and they can come up with something first and that's crazy, dog. Like, why wouldn't you be trying to figure out how to stop motherfuckers from getting it <laughs> as opposed to, like, treating this shit? I know at some point, can it stop being about the fucking money, dog? At some point. Because fear rules the world, man. It do. Fear rules the world. I can't make you buy these pills if you ain't scared. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that shit fucking suck, though. Once you put it in somebody's head that they're going to die, and, 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 it, and it's sad that it affects our older elderly people the most, because pretty much they'll die before they don't take a certain amount of pills in a day. Yeah. Because sure. this is what they, they've they been trained. Yeah. They're scared. Right. You know what I mean? I, I got to take it. I got it. Have you ever seen them without it? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, man, damn. Because the doctor's scary. You're like, doc, can yeah. I stop taking this? And they'd no. be like, no, you can't. No. But then when they decide, though, or when they bring out this other drug, then all of a sudden, no. mysteriously, you can, you can stop taking this one. When their contract ends with <laughs> Pfizer and shit. <laughs> it's a, it's a, yeah. Yeah. You can stop taking it now. You're good. <laughs> right. It's a handful of doctors. But this new drug. To tell you the truth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's why I don't trust the ones that have offices inside the, uh, the hospital. Oh, you need the private practice doctor? I need that motherfucker over in the corner. Somebody on his own. Yeah, barely with a light going on in this motherfucker. Because he's going to tell me the truth. Obviously, he's going to tell me the truth. Because he, he been telling the truth. That's why he's that's why that's he, he he living like he lived. Right. That's true. Hey, <laughs> so look, That's some truth for your ass right there, right? That, that is some truth for your ass. Hey, right, so look, we talking all this, uh, you know, we talking a lot of deep stuff about uh, climate change and, and health and shit. But uh, Angry Man, I got to ask you this, though. What does bourbon taste like to you, though? Oh, this is some good shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, look, you need a refill here right, for exactly. a minute, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't, don't want to hurt myself, but... Yeah, I, I oh, it's nice. It's, it's nice. It's yeah, good yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 it's pretty smooth, though. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Go ahead and... Uh, and uh, shout, shout out to uh, all the snobs in the Black Bourbon Society who think that smooth is not a, a, a description of liquor. It certainly is. Smooth can be used because it is smooth. So, <laughs> so since you say that... I did say that. Since you say that. I said it. Like I'm proud of the Black Bourbon Society. Like, I am. Yeah, like yeah, black that, folks should yeah. should partake in that. First and right? foremost, say that. Yes. But yeah, but some of y'all need, need 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 to pump the brakes a little bit, bro. Like relax. You know what I mean? Like, right. like hold on, cause like <laughs> right for real. If you uh if you've been a part of the uh, talking about being bougie and shit, right? Yeah, hell bougie. Like, like hell some y'all niggas need to calm down for real. Yeah, just calm right? down, man. And that's, and that's why we exist, though, right? So we. Kind of bridge the gap between. Yeah, we like bourbon and, too. You know, yeah. we 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 don't do the shit like y'all niggas do. And right. shit. And, uh, yeah, we don't get all pretty and shit like that. And I ain't gonna lie, though, like we probably know more than some of you motherfuckers in that cer that bourbon society. Honestly, I don't want but, this uh, to become a black on black thing. I know because I support y'all. Y'all do what you do. Oh, yeah, I support y'all. I do what you sure. do. I'm just saying some of y'all niggas just calm down a little bit. You know, yeah, and we be good. You know? Like they really. I mean, I guess we got different takes on it. We got different opinions. You know. 
y'all got your opinion and it's cool and it's good and I appreciate it and I learned a lot from that shit. <laughs> right. I did, yeah. I but have. then, you know, we, we get our, we do things a little different. That's all. a little different. We, we try to, a little uh, different. Try to keep in contact with the people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, I want to forget where I come from. You know what I'm saying? I'll show y'all the black Democrats. Republicans. You're black Republicans. No, all right, we just switch gears real quick. I'm just saying. Uh, all right, so look, it's a, uh, it's almost time to get up out of here because we gotta get to the, to the Michigan game. So I'm gonna go around uh, one last time. I just want this is the question I want to present though about uh, climate change. Climate change. Mm-hmm. Um, and I ain't even gonna say question. I, I guess I'm gonna put this idea out there and just see what y'all say about this. Uh, with the climate change, I mean, obviously it's gonna be some areas that's gonna uh, be overheated or. Uh, like the the al- the allergy season is gonna be worse, like she was saying uh, in that video. Mm-hmm. So I think that um, now is it is it going? Yeah, this this is a question. Is it going to be more important at this point to be wealthy or to have uh, access to to a you know to a higher level of healthcare? And I ask that because when the climate changes, I I do feel like obviously. Having access to you know a higher level of healthcare it would be beneficial because you can you can treat the issue, but I also think that being wealthy is have has a different advantage because like if I'm here and the climate starts sucking I can get up and go. Now with health insurance I got to stay where I'm at and just keep treating the same shit. With some with some with some wealth though I can kind of move to some better areas for climate and shit like if it's gonna be good for my health. So with that my question is this like. With, with that climate change and health issues that's connected, is it more important to be wealthy or to have access to a higher level of health care? Um, Angry Man, I'll start with you since you're the guest. Okay, well, I don't know if it's the burden, but I'm, I'm going to try to say something that makes sense. Because <laughs> I know You said the, the burdens give you a climate change. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's I hot here. I know what I want to say, but y'all some educated brothers. Y'all figure it out. No, but, yeah, you good. <laughs> Say what you want to say. Uh, yeah, we're not going to black burn society. No, no say, say what you want to say. I say a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and maybe just none of it. Yeah. Neither mm-hmm. one of them. Neither one of them. Put yourself on the average ground because to piggyback off what you said, if it get that bad, you got to get up and move. What if it get that bad there? You got to get up and move. Mm-hmm. We got to learn how to self how to self, uh, what I'm trying to say, self-medicate, mm-hmm. self-take care of ourselves. Yeah. Because like you said, if, if, if the climate gets to that point, What's the first thing that's going to go wrong? Food. Yeah. And yeah. like we always preaching, if we don't know how to feed ourselves without going uh, to the grocery store. I see where you're going with that. Yeah. We in, you're in trouble anyway. Mm-hmm. Right. You can have the best Tylenol in the world. But if you, <laughs> right. If you ain't got no motherfucking <laughs> turkey sandwich right. to go with that sound, then, <laughs> then you're fucked. I feel you. It's just Thanks. like Kodak Lee been telling us all this time. Learn how to make water. Yeah. Because if the climate control is fucked up. All them animals gonna die in that shit. Right. It's gonna take longer for them to filter it. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna make a shortage on drinking water. Yeah. You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? They saw already shortages on cows. Yeah. <laughs> you saw already shortages on chickens. It it definitely it shouldn't even be no chickens existed at this point because we eat so much chicken anyway. But that's why they genetically <laughs> alter all this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, those yeah. reasons. Yeah. Yeah. For real, that's yeah. why I say yeah. it, it could be a little bit of that wealth, a little bit of what you say, wealth and what else? Uh, uh, access to higher level wealth, of healthcare yeah. in health. But I say just maintain the average life, man. Yeah. Learn how to self uh, medicate. Learn how to take care of yourself. Because if you if you depend on the insurance, you ain't gonna get no <laughs> facts. Because facts. you're gonna be broke. I agree and like you right. said, if you feel like you know I, I can move here, I can move, which is not nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But I'm always thinking like, okay, At we move point. there. Yeah. The climate changed here. <laughs> it's gonna change. Like there's a wall over there. There's gonna right. change going over there. <laughs> Right. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, <laughs> you know. see what I'm saying? Sure. So it, it's, it's a scary thing to think about once it you is. break it down. It is. Like, what what do you really do? And it's too it's too scary of a of a thing that is not being discussed often enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's a real thing, and it's really not being discussed often enough. Yeah. Especially even even during this time, especially during politi- uh you know politics time and like uh, presidential elections. Like, it seemed like this would. I understand why Al Gore was on this shit now. I didn't understand that then. And he's, he's been silenced. It's silenced like a motherfucker. How do you kill Freddy? <laughs> Stop talking about him. Don't talk about him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and who was Freddy? What? <laughs> Man, that, we Freddy. <laughs> right. Freddy. We, we Freddy. Come on. Take away their health. Don't talk about it. <laughs> Don't talk about it. Uh, yeah, nah. Bo, what you say, bro? That is, you know, like the, like the number one solution, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta learn how to take care of yourself, right? You gotta learn, like, like, like Angry Man said, self-medicate and grow your own food, things like that. 
Um, number two, though, I think it's definitely wealth. Yeah. Right? Because so many folks rely on their job for their health care or this or that or that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if that job goes away, and we see it, we saw it during COVID. Yeah. If you get furloughed, you get laid off, you get whatever it That's is, you know, they're going to give you COBRA. Yeah, and Cobra, you gotta pay what eighteen hundred dollars a month to, for, 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 for a doctor's visit and shit. Right, you know, yeah. ain't nobody got money like that, right? Bro, yeah. Cobra is what? Just, come on, man. come on, man. So, the so, devil. so like, yeah. Number one is always gonna be like your man saying, take care of yourself and your own. Learn how to do that. Yeah. Grow your own food. Purify your own water. Things like that. Yeah. And number two, while this system exists, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be wealth. Yeah. Because like even if some shit, some bad shit happens, like you can fall back on your money. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Right. This procedure costs two two grand or whatever it is. Like you just here you go. It. I just got to pay for it out of my yes. pocket. Yeah. Where like as a motherfucker that's making twenty dollars an hour, you know, but relying on those benefits and they go away, yeah. and now all of a sudden they get to pay Cobra or something like that. <laughs> exactly. Where are they gonna get that money from, dude? Shit. I'll what? tell you, yes, I guess. I don't what? know where it's gonna come from. Come on, man. Go to eight dollars an hour. Now. <laughs> Hell what? yeah, real quick. Yes, real, real quick. quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell yeah. Yeah, definitely, bro. No, nah, so yeah, I, I agree with both of y'all on that one. And Angry Man shit, thank you for bringing up that point because I that wasn't even in my, my categories. Uh, but definitely, I think that is probably the most important thing. Um, and that's and that's learning how to survive off of like the ecosystem, like where no matter where you are. And that's and it's crazy because, again, I say this shit on every show about a lot of things. And it's not only the ecosystem, it's about mm. security too, right? Yeah. You know? right, right, Because yeah. that perfect spot, you know, everybody might know that's the perfect mm. spot, you know? Exactly. You know, how do you defend it? Exactly. Get that moment exactly. Here, sure. Or how do I defend, not defend it? How do I take it for somebody if I need to, you know? <laughs> right. I'm always on some taking some shit. Right? You're always yeah, taking some shit. <laughs> this anyway. That's Lord Embryo over here shit. I'm a for uh, real Lord, y'all better watch out though. <laughs> But but yeah, I, I think this is, that was a very important uh, point. And and again, like I said, I, I mentioned this on on a lot of shows. It's crazy because as important as that is, a lot of us don't ever have that conversation for real. Mm -hmm. And the, and the information is there. Like this is a this is the only time that I've been. But like we said, how many how many niggas talk about climate change? Though? They don't. But we started a conversation. <laughs> we started a conversation yeah. now, and, I, and I'm glad we did. And this is. Completely random because it's not what we was gonna talk about. No, not at we all. was gonna talk about something else, but I, I failed to do my proper research before the show, <laughs> and that's neither here nor there. But whatever. We ain't talking and, about that though. We ain't talking about that. No, but that that we were talking about, we gonna talk about next week. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, so definitely that that is number one, and I, I do go with uh, with wealth as the uh, second, and then obviously third being healthcare, and and I only say that I say that because. Again, like you do depend on probably like your 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 uh, your healthcare. You do depend on on your job to provide that because when you're paying for it out of pocket, it's completely um, too expensive. So at that point, you honestly do need uh, you know some some money, like for real. But but I also too just to go back to what I say on uh, a long time ago when we was talking about reparations and what should be included in reparations. I do think that free healthcare for a few generations would definitely. Be, um, be a, a good thing for black people though. I do need some free health care but at the end of the day I know that's a tough one because if you get free health care that health care will probably be uh, subpar health care and shit and it's it, subpar it, now when you pay for it right when you pay <laughs> right we're, 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 so we're going to treat, treat you right <laughs> I don't know man we just gonna have to start from scratch. <laughs> right, right. Coop the Kentucky and didn't have no damn health insurance. Duh. They were some of the biggest black men on the guys. Man, the ferocious motherfucking warriors. <laughs> he yeah. had no health care. He had no they insurance. They was good. <laughs> he was straight. He didn't have no health insurance. Yeah, but his mentals was fucked up. They told him not to go out there and fuck around in the field. Yeah. And he did anyway. <laughs> his mentals was fucked up. Son, son, four years old, living like LeBron James. Out <laughs> only, only wanted to defeat the British Army. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ain't took a pill. Brit British. Military he said I ain't took a pill. Yeah, took, but think about it. They, they, they well, no feed, pharmaceuticals. They feed us that shit, be, and then our body become dependent on it. We mm -hmm. keep forgetting one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might have to take it. Yeah, they telling you to take it, but what do they call it? Mm -hmm. Drugs. Right. <laughs> we always seem to forget that That's even though drugs. they telling you you need to take it, That's it's a drug. Drug. So, yeah. And what do drugs do? Make Fuck you dependent. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I mean, so it's like, that's why I said it's scary. Yeah. I mean, 
It is. You hooked on drugs, and I had to tell somebody, that, what, you can't judge him, so are you. Right. Mine come from the doctor. He is can, too. <laughs> right. Just because yeah. you was in the bottle. Damn, that's, the, the that's a hell of a way to look that's at it. That's 100% true. Cause you that's think a hell of a way to look at it, yes. If shit went sideways tomorrow, right, think of my motherfuckers with diabetes and shit like that, you know, and I need insulin. Yeah. You just can't go and just get, and and get insulin. <laughs> Facts. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, how do you take care of situations right. like that, right? Hell yeah. You gotta know what's happening out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Damn, Damn, that's some real shit right there. You got heart pills and all type of pills. That's a drug that you're so yeah. dependent on that you <clears throat> claim you Blood need. pressure pills. Oh, all that shit. Yeah. But, man. Yeah. It's scary, man. It's scary. It is, man. Shit, uh, yeah. On that note, dog, excellent conversation again, man. Uh, thank my man, Angry Man, for popping through the Beer sure. Bourbon Whiskey podcast. Yo, yo. Uh, don't forget, if you're watching right now on YouTube, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button so that you get a notification every time we go live. Like us on IG and on Facebook, man. It's Beer's Bourbon Whiskey podcast on both of those, man. And uh, we out here to go watch this uh, this Big Ten opener for uh, Michigan. Hopefully they uh they up by fourteen already. Go blue. <laughs> right, go blue. Not so much. It's seven look, seven. Oh seven seven. seven, seven. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, till the next time, man. We up out here, dog. Angry man in the building. Yeah, yeah. My man Bo holding it down. I'll say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Everybody loves BBW. We up out here. Peace. Shane, you next. <laughs>